So to get started here, we're going to choose new map of my data table spreadsheet, and I'm going to map it in Excel sheet. I'm going to go to my training folder, and I'm going to choose my local establishments Excel sheet. The first bot dialog box you'll see allows us to match up our fields from our spreadsheet, which are the fields on the right side here, with the corresponding geographic fields on the left. So we just want to make sure that the fields from our sheet, so for example address, is matching up with the address option on the left side. If anything is incorrect here, we can change it by clicking the drop down and changing it to the right option. All these look correct though, so I can hit next. This next uh, step allows us to choose from a number of different options to visualize our data. So before we go any further, I'm going to display a poll to get a better idea of how you guys are going to display your data. So to start here, we're going to choose one of the locate options. In general, any of these options that start with locate records are going to plot our points in the map as push pins. So you can see in the example here, they're little stars. Any of the show X boundaries with their data attached are going to join our data to that respective layer. So in this case, it would join our data to the zip code layer. And if we were to choose this option down here, our data would be joined to the state layer, etc. So I'm going to choose locate records by address, zip code, or city. And I'm going to hit next. I can choose to import or link the data. If I choose to link it, then the same Excel sheet will be linked to that map, and I can choose uh, an option from the map menu, which is update linked records, to update my map with any changes I've made to the spreadsheet in the future. I won't be altering the spreadsheet at all, so I'm just going to choose import. I can also set a theme here. I don't really want a theme for my points. I'd rather they just be plotted as little pins in the map, so that's fine. But I do want to display labels for my points, so I'll check display labels and I'll change the label to the name. Finally, I get to choose a type of analysis if I want. I don't think I need any analysis for this, uh, for this map, so I'm going to leave it on none, and I'm going to hit finish. Maptitude is going to go through and plot all the points in the map. And once it's finished, it's going to give us a brief report on which records were located with which methods. So here we have all our points. They're all in Texas, and they're all labeled with the name from the Excel sheet. If I want to zoom in to a given area, I can click on Zoom In. And I can click on the map where I want to zoom into. I can also click and drag to create a box. And when I release my mouse, it'll zoom to that area. In addition, I can use the scroll wheel up to zoom in with any tool. So for example, if I had just the pointer selected, I could still scroll up on my mouse to zoom in. Likewise, we have a zoom out option here which does much the same thing, except the opposite. So it's going to zoom out when I click. I can even draw a box to zoom out from a given area. And if I want, I can scroll down on my mouse wheel to zoom out with any tool. I'm going to zoom back in here. If I want to pan on the map, I can use the pan tool, which is this little hand. Click and drag the map to pan to a new location. Alternatively, with any tool selected, I can click in my middle mouse button or my scroll wheel and drag, and it's going to act like the pan tool. So I can click in my scroll wheel and drag around the map to move. If I want to go back to the previous zoom distance or the previous place in the map, I can hit undo zoom and it'll return me to my previous location. 
If I want to return to the initial scale of the map, I can hit undo all, all zoom, and it will zoom me back to the state of Texas, which is where my map started. In the display manager on the left side, all of our layers are listed out. You can see things like states, highways, and even our sheet one layer, which is our plotted points. If I uncheck any of these layers, they'll be hidden on the map. So for example, I unchecked highway slash freeway, and all the highways and freeways disappeared. If I check them back off, they'll all appear again. I can do the same with any layer. For example, state, or even my sheet one layer of points. I can rename layers by right-clicking on them and choosing Rename. So here I'll rename my Excel sheet layer to, let's just do My Locations. And when I hit OK, it's going to update in the Display Manager. Finally, we can change the style for the layer by clicking on that respective icon next to it. So in this case, I currently have blue dots for my Excel sheet layer. If I click on the blue dot in the Display Manager next to the My Locations layer, I have the option to change the symbol. I could change it to a star, make it larger, and I can even change the color. So if we want to see multiple fields of data, we can click on the tag next to that respective layer. This is going to open the general label settings for the layer. There's a lot of options here. So if I want to change the uh, thing it's being, each point is being labeled with, I can change the field from, say, name to maybe address. If I hit apply, they'll all be labeled with the address instead. I can also choose multiple fields at the bottom of the list. This allows me to label each point with multiple things. So let's do name, and let's label it with the hours as well. I'll hit OK, and it's going to allow me to pick colors for each of the labels. Maybe I want to do a nice green for the first one and blue for the second one. I'll hit OK. I can also adjust the background for the labels. So if I click on background, I can set it to no background. I can maybe do a frame around the label, or I could do a halo. When I hit OK, it's going to label all the points. So now each point is labeled with the name of the location and the hours for that location. Next up, I'm going to add the same spreadsheet to the map again, but in a different way this time. So to add another spreadsheet to this map, I'm going to choose Map, and then Add Table slash Spreadsheet to a map. I'll choose the same sheet again. first step is going to be the same as last time. But this time I'm going to choose Show Zip Code Boundaries with your data attached. This will join my data to the zip code layer, as you can see by the picture. I'm going to import the data again. And I'm going to create a type of theme on it. So we're going to choose color theme here which also might be a heat map if you're used to that. Uh, we're going to color the point or the zip codes based on the number of records in the sheet. And we're also going to display a label for the number of records in that zip code. So we'll hit finish here. Map2 is going to join our data to the zip codes. It's going to display the boundaries. And we can see that some zip codes are colored darker and have numbers in them. So let's zoom in here. And we can see if we turn off our My Locations layer that the zip codes are numbered. So they might have a 4 in them, 2, 1, 2. And that indicates the number of the locations from the My Locations layer that are in that given zip code. 